Hi guys, welcome back. Um, on this video, um, I'd like to um, talk a little bit about Eddie Van Halen. Um, obviously, it's been um, way over a month since his passing, and um, I've seen a lot of tributes online. Uh, I mean, you see, like he's he's been on since he died. He's been like on a lot of uh, all over the news, all over the world. Um, all the magazine covers, everything. I mean, you can see what a big uh, of an impact this man has had in the music world, and of course for the for the guitar community. Um, he was, um, you know, you don't need me to tell you that he was such a pioneer. Um, he was an innovator. Um, all these words actually um, they describe. Uh, somebody like Eddie Van Halen perfectly, you know. He, he has done so much, he has given us so much in music and he has done so much for the guitar, um, you know, from, um, from introducing kind of like, you know, the modern age sort of um, hard rock heavy metal guitar, you know, the super strat, um, you know, the way he used whammy bar techniques, Introducing tapping techniques to the world. Um, I mean, there's, there's no, um, there's, there's no way you're, you're, you're playing guitar, and you know you're playing hard rock or heavy metal, and you you are not using uh, some stuff that he popularized. Uh, there's just no way, you know. So uh, you know, I was shocked when I read the news, obviously, and. Um, I, I, I was kind of like lost for words. Eventually I wrote um, a few words for some magazines that are doing, um, <clears throat> that have done some specials on him and some tributes. Um, but I haven't posted anything on my own websites, on my own social media or anything. Um, and I've seen wonderful tributes. Actually the best tribute that I saw was my, for my buddy Mike Dawes. He did an amazing acoustic cover of Jump. That's amazing. You should check it out, actually, if you can. Um, now, there's there's one thing, you know. He, you know, Van Halen have obviously a lot of hits and a lot of popular songs, but there's this song that was not like as a big of a hit as as the others, as the classics, and um, I don't see it being much talked about. And that the song that I want to refer to has this technique that I have not seen anywhere else. Um, I'm talking about the song um, off the record of uh, uh, Balance. The song is called Don't Tell Me What Love Can Do. Um, and actually, it's this riff right here. <laughs> This I remember seeing the you know seeing the video on MTV I don't know sometime in mid 90s or I don't know 97 or something like that and I was like wow what is that is that like a cello or something like distorted cello and then you know you see Eddie plucking here on the low E string and playing this riff and I was blown away I'm like wow that's like a whole new way of playing riffs you know instead of like doing palm muting so. I'm surprised that nobody really 
talked about this technique. I thought that was really innovative, um, very unique, and I'm surprised that I haven't heard other riffs like based on that. You know, he's just playing three notes instead of doing. guitar player would have done that but Eddie just did this you know? what a brilliant what what a brilliant idea what a brilliant I mean that's in the sound you know um, so um, anyways you know um, I could go on and on uh, about how Eddie has influenced me and and millions of other guitar players I just wanted to take a chance to say, you know, uh, thank you, Eddie, uh, for all that you gave us. Unfortunately and sadly, I never got uh, to see Van Halen live. I'm not even going to go into about, you know, meeting them and stuff, but, but you know, I, I never got to meet Eddie or anybody, but um, anybody from the band. But um, I never got to see Van Halen live either because I live in Greece and Van Halen very rarely played in Europe. Uh, they mainly toured in America. So, um, and when I was spending a lot of time in America, I never got the chance to um, to see them. Even when they did the last reunion a few years back, I just, uh, yeah, I was just was never in town to, to catch uh, their show. Uh, so that's, that's one thing that I regret. I wish I had seen them on stage. But regardless, um, Eddie, thank you. And... Um, Thank you for all that you did for the music world and for the guitar community. And, uh, you know, your legacy lives on. And um, that's all I had to say for today. And um, if you're uh, watching this, maybe you should go and blast some Van Halen right after this. All right. Take it easy, guys. Peace.